Hi, I'm Eric Gray from VMware. I'd like to tell you about some enhancements to auto-deploy in vSphere 6.5. These enhancements come on both the operational side of auto-deploy as well as the scalability and uptime that you need in your environment. So let's jump right in. The first thing I want to tell you about is a brand new graphical interface. This is the first release where we're offering uh, a web client interface that allows you to go in, create uh, ESXi software images, you can create and edit deploy rules, and you can also see which hosts have come up on the network and are available for use with auto-deploy. We call that discovered hosts, which leads us to the next enhancement to auto-deploy. This is a new workflow. This allows you to quickly deploy brand new hosts into your data center uh, without even creating rules for your auto-deploy environment. By simply using a easy-to-use four-step wizard, you can select hosts, ESXi images, host profiles, and location in your data center, and walk right through there. A few minutes later, you have the hosts up and running, ready to run virtual machines. Now on the back end, we've really upped the scalability of the native auto-deploy service. Uh, but for those environments that want to offload some of the performance and the resource utilization on the vCenter server, we now make it really easy to set up reverse proxy caching. This can be done through uh, traditional industry standard proxy caches such as Nginx, and it's enabled with a simple line of Power CLI. The latest release of Power CLI has commandlets for adding and removing proxy servers. And it's just, this is the only step required uh, to enable those. No more configura configuration file editing or anything like that. And finally, when you're using the VCSA, the, the appliance, you can also benefit from a VCSA high availability failover. This is going to reduce the downtime uh, in the event of hardware outage or other failure in your data center. For more information on the enhancements to auto-deploy in vSphere 6.5, uh, please check out the feature walkthroughs at featurewalkthrough.vmware.com. And be sure to go over to pubs.vmware.com to see the full product documentation.